tell us a little bit about the, the concept of the Thirsty Bear and, and how you came to um, develop the puppy design? Yeah, sure. So, um, um, myself and Phil, one of the other directors, um, had a, um, a conversation on a long train journey back home once around um, how it frustrates us when we're watching a football and rugby games and um, we're queuing constantly at the bar or fighting at half time to, to, to get our drinks served and get back to our table in time. So I thought wouldn't it be great to have um, a bit of pumps on your table where you could effectively sit there for the afternoon, serve yourself and have waiting staff come and visit you rather than you visiting them. We swap our cards, automatic this is our home screen. On here we have these two numbers, is that two draft bills on the table, we have a meter, so after we start to pour we're going to see these numbers growing. We have as well internet search, any kind of web page you guys can open with no problem at all. Home button again, we have a jukebox as well. You can choose which tune you want to hear at the moment, it's 12 piece, it's tune. Back to the home page, we go to the drinks menu. If you guys want to place any drink, you guys just choose what you guys want. If you want a cocktail, choose a cocktail, put the order through. And is there sex on the beach? You place the order, and one of the staff will bring it to you. That means with the food as well, we have a control of your own bill and a button. If you need any help on the table, you can just call the waiters or myself. So there we go. 1.0, perfect pint. <laughs>